Woo! Hey everyone, this is Jared from Daily Crypto Trades and I was coming to you live, live from Vietnam, guys. This is our evening time, drive time update, guys. And we got a special guest. We got the alien in the house. We got the absolute, the brilliant alien in the house. And we got Dino, the dino in the house, guys. So it's a great time to be alive, guys. Don't forget to go down there. Boop the likes, boop the likes for humans and amoebas and aliens and cats and dogs out there. And guys and gals, remember, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just uh, the OG, uh, the Ric Flair, woo, of crypto. Just giving you this information for educational purposes only nothing in this video can be construed as financial advice do your own research do your own risk management guys it's your money it's not my money guys so get it get it while you can so we got a huge video we're going to talk about crypto regulation so it looks like tomorrow june 8th we're going to have a huge crypto bill that's going to get passed and we're going to talk about that we're going to talk about what uh, cynthia luminous has to say we're going to talk about what uh, ted cruz has to say and what does this mean absolutely what does this mean for dogecoin what does this absolutely mean for the layer one and layer two coins out there because you're going to see something interesting that this panel is made up of complete Bitcoin maxis out there. So this could be a big risk. It could be a big threat to old coins, guys. So could we be seeing Ethereum going down, did -de 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 down, down, while stable coins, you know, stabilize and Bitcoin goes up and up, up, guys. So a lot of people are concerned about this, but overall, we can see that Cynthia Loomis about this regulation, they do not want to stifle innovation. They just want to create a beautiful environment for crypto, but a more and more beautiful environment for Bitcoin. So we're going to talk about that right now, right now. Now, time recording we're seeing a beautiful sign absolutely beautiful dino sign in the house we're seeing bitcoin is above 31,435 oh yeah baby and that is what we've been wanting we're seeing ethereum is getting gingerly close to two thousand dollars we're seeing green everywhere seeing absolutely green i'm loving it the dino's loving it, and i love you my peeps my community i want to th say thank you god bless you for watching and thank you all for being here it's absolutely so fantastic Big shout out to David Rising, Dragon, Upper Hand, you know, the goat in the house and all the beautiful supporters out there, all my members and family. Without you, this channel wouldn't be possible, guys. So let's get it, get it. But I just, I thought I'd bring this to your attention. I thought this was kind of interesting is that, you know, the Bank of America CEO says we have hundreds of blockchain patents, but we can't engage, we can't allow to use crypto because of regulation. So that is why I think this is very important what Cynthia Loomis has to say. So let's hear what Cynthia Loomis has to say. Uh, Senator Loomis, uh, I'd like to ask you, uh, Bitcoin is becoming more prominent in public policy discussions really across the country. What potential common ground exists between conservatives and Bitcoin? Well, thanks uh, for this great panel and these great experts on uh, Bitcoin, and it's lovely to be here with you this evening. The common ground is looking for the sweet spot. So that is key. The common ground is looking for sweet spot, sweet spot between regulation and innovation. So hear what she says about that. Between not stifling innovation, but rather encouraging innovation, while at the same time creating a regulatory framework that everyone understands. The and that is key because a lot of countries that create all of this regulation that nobody understands, but here they want to make a regulatory framework that everybody can understand can be very, very easily, easily interpreted. And remember, Cynthia Loomis, she is a Bitcoin maxi. She is absolutely a Bitcoin maxi out there. And in fact, you can see here that Cynthia Loomis, she actually has Bitcoin uh, listed right here. So, you know, she has bought, you know, breaking Cynthia Lewis buys uh, Bitcoin up to $100,000 in the largest crypto purchase. So she is absolutely a big owner of cryptocurrency and particularly Bitcoin. She owns over $100,000 of Bitcoin. So that is important that you guys know that from the onset. The reason for doing this is if someone wants to interact between Bitcoin and the U.S. dollar, the U.S. dollar and keepers of it and the Fed need to consent. So what she's saying here is that somehow the interactivity between Bitcoin and cryptocurrency in the US dollar, the Fed wants to hold some sovereignty, some regulatory uh, influence over how that interaction is going to happen because the US dollar and fiat currency, they want to control the sovereignty over that. So that is what that is all about. So, you know, this is really breaking news and you can see right now that, you know, uh, on Tuesday, one of the largest pieces of crypto legislation will be introduced this Tuesday, the 6th and the 7th. So it's going to be introduced and hopefully the bill will get passed. 
this includes definitions of what are commodities, uh, you know, what are commodities, coins considered security, stable coins, CBDC, and, and framework of NFT direction. So, you know, we really have to pay attention, and this is what Cynthia Loomis has to say about that. So here, Cynthia, she's just kind of talking about the bill. Uh, she's talking about who helped uh, look at the bill and, how, and why and how we got here from where we are today. On that, our bill, in fact, will be uh, in, filed. Uh, it is a very comprehensive bill. It will be filed on June 7th. Uh, it includes uh, coins that are commodities, uh, coins that are securities. It includes stable coins. It includes so here they're going to make a definition. They're going to they're going to make a decision of all this, you know, 19,000 uh, cryptocurrencies and which cryptocurrencies are going to be commodities and which are going to be securities because the securities will be controlled by Dura Gensler in the house and commodities will be uh, uh, regulated by the Commodities Exchange Commission. So there's going to be two different regular bodies but what's going to happen is this bill is going to define which coin belongs to what. Is this coin a commodity or is that coin a security? So that is what we're going to see about that. And you know, let's see guys what else you've got to say. Includes a discussion of CDBCs and consistent with what we heard earlier. Uh, and uh, a small um, nod to NFTs. So also this bill will also have a, will encompass NFTs to some point. Will they treat NFTs as property, like art? Let's see. It includes uh, algorithmic as well as um, asset-backed stable coins. So this is key. They're going to make a distinction between algorithmic stable coins and asset asset backed stable coins. So the asset backed stable coins are like USDC, uh, Tether, and algorithmic stable coins. I think we all know after the Tether debacle out there, we all know what an algorithmic stable coin is. And I, I I mean I'm personally hoping that you know from the algorithmic stable coin perspective is that the government does regulate the 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 heck out of uh, you know algorithmic stable coins because we all have felt the imminent blow and the death spiral of what happened with Luna and a lot of people lost money. I lost more money than I could have you know if this thing had gone back to all time high and you lost a lot of money too if you know if we could have held this thing and we'd gone back to 200 bucks and sold it we'd all be making out like Flint but we didn't and a lot of you out there held too long and you just evaporate. So thank goodness we got our airdrops out there. So let's continue what else you've got to say. It includes definitions, consumer protection, privacy, taxation. So okay, so here's key. She talks about it's also going to include taxation, privacy, and consumer protection. So that's going to be interesting to understand and know what is going to be this consumer protection and how are they going to enforce it and what is that going to be. So as you can see, it's a it's a long bill. It's comprehensive. It's you know, according to her, it's going to be very long. It's going to be comprehensive. We've had it vetted uh, for uh, months. Michael Saylor was one of our first uh, set of eyes on it. So I think it's important that you guys have to understand from that perspective that Michael Saylor, Bitcoin Maxi, yes, Cynthia Loomis, Bitcoin Maxi. So from that perspective, it's important that you understand that this bill is definitely going to be leaning towards the protection of Bitcoin. And I believe that, you know, it's going to divide the old coins into commodities and securities. And this may not be good. This absolutely may not be good for the old coins and the layer ones and layer twos out there. So you, we could expect that, you know, Bitcoin dollars is probably going to go up now and we could see that the old coins could start bleeding out. Now, I'm not telling you to sell your old coins and layer ones and layer twos, but we could see a price depression after the release and passing of this bill. So let's see how that pans out guys. So let's absolutely see how that pans out. Other big news that's coming out. Don't forget we got the CPI data coming out uh, on June uh, 10th at 8.30. So that's going to be key. And you know right now we're seeing that uh, the CPI uh, was 8.3 last month and they're calculating 8.2. So if we do come in below 8.2 that's going to be good and the market's going to probably be pretty pumped for that guys. So right now we're seeing a few ingredients at 13. It was at 10 yesterday. So this is still a contrary indicator and I still think it is a good, good time to be buying Bitcoin. Now, for me personally, I am not going to be picking up any more altcoins until after this bill gets passed because I have a, I have a belief 
that because you know the Bitcoin maxis are the ones that are writing this bill and have been reviewing this bill, it's going to lean towards more the benefit of the Bitcoin holders and less benefit for the altcoin holders, guys. So smash the likes, boot the likes, comment like crazy. What do you think? This bill is going to be good for Bitcoin. Is it going to be bad for the layer ones and layer two and the Doja Wars out there? I'd love to hear what you got to say about that. So we can see that right now, the amount of Bitcoin being mined is getting less and less and less. And right now we have about 1.9 million Bitcoins left to be mined. And once it's been mined, that's it. Nada. No more, guys. So that is pretty bullish that we're getting the end of the mining right now. So from that perspective, let's take a look at the weekly on-chain. So for Bitcoin right now, we saw a total of $1.3 billion worth of Bitcoin flow off exchanges like crazy. So that is pretty good. Unfortunately for Ethereum, we're seeing more Ethereum. 108.6 million Ethereum went onto exchanges. And we saw about $781 million worth of Terra flow off exchange. So people are taking their profits. So it looks like, you know, this bill could be coming out and it could be causing and could cause the death blow of Ethereum. Now, I'm not saying that Ethereum is going to tank 50%, but if this bill comes out and it comes out negative to layer ones and layer twos out there, and then it highly regulates Ethereum and layer one and layer twos, you could definitely expect that the old coins could tank it, tank, tank, and that could be not good in the house for uh, Bitcoin and the other old coins. But I still think this bill is very positive for Bitcoin. And right now we can see that we have this whole resistance level right here. And it looks like we need to get inside that and we need to break above that. So, you know, this is the resistance level that we need to break. And I think we're going to do it. And the top side of this resistance level is about 3160. So right now, if you take a look at the price of Bitcoin, so right now Bitcoin is at the 31436. Uh, and we're about to get past you know we have our 30 31 600 right there if we can get past this resistance level then it looks like it's going to be a home run and our next next stop ladies and gentlemen is going to be thirty four thousand dollars i just kicked the computer i just kicked the computer and and you know and if that happens then you know thirty four thousand thirty five thousand forty thousand is not out of the question guys it's absolutely not out of the question you guys should be pumped up for that i'm excited guys and you can see here that right now on the weekly bitcoin is uh you know it just it's just outside of my blue box guys and that is huge 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 news and the next target my next target on the weekly is you need to get above thirty five thousand dollars we're gonna do it you're gonna do it and we're gonna do it together boot the like smash the like show some love for the og and you can see here that the third biggest bitcoin wallet is still buying up guys still relentless still set, stacking the sats like crazy you need to be stacking the sats dollar cost average diamond hands guys i'm still bullish i'm still positive and this is one of my leading indicators if i see this wallet start to dump a ton of big Bitcoin, then you know what it's time to get out of town guys and sell 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 but I ain't selling because this guy ain't selling and this guy is the third biggest Bitcoin wallet out there guys and this is huge absolutely huge 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 and you know this guy he's he's got like you know a hundred and twenty eight thousand Bitcoin and that's worth over four billion dollars guys so if this guy sells I'm selling but right now this guy is buying up like crazy so I love it you love it let's get it guys so right now we're seeing that uh, you know a bank previously warned to revoke financial licenses of those found to be helping and trading in crypto are now looking to bring crypto business into the regulatory sandbox so it looks like you know banks right now are, are changing their tune they're absolutely changing their tune out there so that is huge that is big that is wild that is crazy out there guys so this is cool cool beans in the house guys so right now dubai 29 shopping malls and 13 hotels will now accept bitcoin in a partnership between binance and retail giant Ma Majid Al Futam Group. So it looks like this huge group is now going to allow you to use Bitcoin in shopping malls and 13 hotels. That is pretty bullish. Australia, you can now pay taxes with Bitcoin soon, says Gold Coast, Coast Bear. So that is huge news. That is huge, huge, huge. That is fantastic news. Since the birth of Bitcoin, the golden opportunity only comes every two years, guys. And we can see that here. Golden opportunity, we had a low. And boom, here we have another low. So this is probably your golden opportunity. I still think the bottom is in for Bitcoin and we're going be going up and up and everything just says it's so fantastic guys for bitcoin right now all coins and eh, not too sure about that because we've got this regulatory framework let's take a look right now for the price of dogecoin in the house we're seeing that dogecoin is at eight eight cents almost eight and a half cents in the house so this is bullish let's get it doge let's go 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 we need a tweet from elon musk elon musk if you're out there tweet 
Wait, wait up a storm. We need you to tear up a storm, guys. And we've got the catalyst. We've got the Doge X to the moon coming uh, June 28th, guys. Buckle up for that. we got the Ethereum Doge Bridge. And guys and gals, what is going on with the Twitter deal? Is the Twitter deal dead or is it sleeping, guys? I'm going to find out. I'm, I'm going to let you know. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's go. Doge to the moon. And guys and gals, if you love the Doge like I love the Doge, what you got to do right now is you've got to do one thing, absolutely one thing. Get on Twitter and tweet, I love Doge. Get it, get it, get it. You want it. I want it. You are a huge, and it's great time to be alive, guys. I love it. You love it. Let's get it, guys. Whoo! I'm on fire, guys. So right now we're seeing that you know right now for Dogecoin in the house we're seeing that 50. Let me guess, 50. Ready? Come on, come on. 52 percent are in the money. 45 percent are out of the money. So that is not too bad, guys. So I'm loving it. Let's take a look at the DXY. DXY is going down. Yes, that's what we need. We're seeing also the Bitcoin dominance is going up, and with this bill passing, we could see the Bitcoin don't big I can't get my words the Bitcoin dominance going up guys so let's see how that is and let's take a look at let's take a look at the uh, the uh, apes house oh, 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 the apes, apes. and the apes are getting wrecked again and we're seeing 128 million dollars worth of wreckage out there it's about 48,000 traders right now and we're seeing that right now on the hourly time frame on the 24 hour time frame it's shorts guys uh, hourly time frame shorts on the four hour time frame shorty short shorts so we're seeing a lot of shorts so that is good that is why we're seeing bitcoin price go we love it you love it and the alien loves it out there the alien absolutely loves it out there get the alien guys you want the alien and the aliens out of there he's going to mars so it's a great time to be alive let's take a look at ethereum ethereum in the house right now ethereum is looking pretty good and you know we got some resistance at two thousand the orange line can we get past two thousand dollars i think we can do it let's get it we're so gingerly close we're so gingerly close we're about need about 80 not $80, $89 to get ourselves back up to 2000 So I'm feeling pretty bullish out there, guys and gals. So let's take a look at the total market cap cap. $1.31 trillion. And I believe by this time next week, we could be seeing $2 trillion in the house, guys. Get it, get it, get it. The volume is super light. And we're seeing the Bitcoin dollars is at 46 in the house, guys. So let's get it. Let's take a look at the coinage in the house. Everything is looking pretty green. Everything looking pretty fantastic in the house. Fantastic. Bitcoin is up 6%, Ethereum up 7%, we're seeing BNB is up, we're seeing ADA 14%, OMG, let's go ADA, wow, I'm happy about that. Uh, you know, from my perspective, you know, I, I've been, you know, I've been uh, dollar cost averaging, uh, my portfolio is diversified, you know, 50% in Bitcoin, 25% in Ethereum, uh, uh, you know, ADA is one of my third biggest holders, Dogecoin, everything, I'm happy to see that, guys, and we're seeing Solana is up 12%, we're seeing the Doge Oja up 3%, let's go Doge, Doge is love and love is Doge, I love it, you love it, so guys, it is a great time to be alive, don't forget to follow me on my Twitter, follow, 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 follow the other Brigo, let's get it, guys, you want it, I want it, let's do it right now, boot the likes, subscribe, and give us two chats, guys. What is going on? I'm, super tired, super tired. I'm going crazy. I'm going to lose my mind, guys. And don't forget to check out the merch, guys. Get the mat, get the cap to cap, get the mug to mug. You want it, I want it. Get the merch, guys. Merch up with the OG merch. Get it, get it right now. Boot the likes, boot the likes, smash the likes. And guys, go with God, be with God. I'll see you in the next one at 10 p.m. Peace out.